hello on this monday, the fourteenth day of may two thousand and seven. i'm kristen volk with the upi top news headline u s. troops are searching for three soldiers who were reportedly captured after an attack on their convoy in iraq saturday a terror group with links to al-qaida has claimed responsibility for the kidnappings it's unclear whether the soldiers are still alive meanwhile, the u s. military says two u s. soldiers have been killed in separate blasts in that country a truce between rival hamas and fatah militias has collapsed Officials from both sides claim they were going to observe a ceasefire shortly after midnight today, but that didn't happen. Shooting resumed early this morning in northern Gaza City between the two groups, killing two gunmen and wounding ten others. Violence between the factions left four dead on Sunday. The Iranian president says his country would strike back if the U.S. attacks the country militarily. President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad made the comment at a press conference during a two-day visit to the United Arab Emirates. This follows comments by U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney, who said the U.S. and its allies would prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons and dominating the region. Despite the warning, the leader also said that Iran had agreed to meet with the U.S. in Baghdad to discuss security there for the benefit of the Iraqi people. Daimler Chrysler is selling its Chrysler unit for $7.4 billion. Cerberus Capital Management, a private equity investment firm, is purchasing the money-losing unit and acquiring it for only a fraction of what it cost nine years ago. German automaker Daimler-Benz paid $37 billion in 1998 for Chrysler. The merger between Daimler Chrysler is known to be one of the most expensive and least successful in the auto industry history. Thanks for watching today's news headline and check out upi.com for your daily news and updates. Have a great day.